Hey guys, my name is Moon and welcome back for more Trigger Happy Havoc Danganronpa. So last episode we started the final class trials, right? We got or we discovered who the real mastermind is, right? It was Junko and she's British for some reason. And yeah, this is going to be our final, I guess, final episode of this Let's Play for Danganronpa, the first one and i can't wait to finish it up and let's see what happens so uh, let's go let's start it continue yes junko if you swear your fealty to us we will reward you with half of the entire world we've even drawn up the deed already we will grant you honor status in some of our home cooking have you made your choice Will you serve under us? But honestly, she still looks like Mukuro, though. Maybe without the freckles, right? I think with Mukuro, she had freckles in her face. While Junko doesn't have. No thanks. Oh, did you think I was being serious? Sorry, I was just messing with you. Wait, what? She has a different voice now. Okay, let me see Junko. See? This one had freckles on her face. Yeah, Mukuro had. And she likes to pose a lot. I mean, the, the real Junko, right? It's been so long since I've had an audience. Even I'm not sure what kind of role I'm supposed to play. Okay. This is the mastermind? I mean, she kind of... She kind of seems crazy, though. Not kind of seems. She is crazy. She's the real Junko and Ushima. Anyway... Looks like I've finally been set free. Like her voice is like, uh, what do you call that again? Like, you know, uh, Aubrey Plaza, right? Whenever she does her comedy or maybe even her acting. What do you call it again? Deadpan, right? Like with no emotions at all. It's like what she's doing here, Junko, I mean. Having to play Monokuma all the time, day after day. It was like I was stuck in purgatory. Or, like a slow suicide. I get bored so easy, you know? Your face! Huh? What about my face? What's wrong with my beautiful face? People have told me I'm cuter than a hundred chihuahuas combined. Okay. I feel like this isn't the first time I've seen you. No, I don't remember seeing it. I'm sure I've seen her too somewhere. It was definitely before I got to the school. Okay, then maybe before arriving at school? I mean, he's literally saying it in his sentence. I got it! That's right! It was before I ever came to this school. I remember seeing a magazine cover. And you were on it! I mean, obviously. What? Wait, what what are you what are you talking about? What? Wow, you have a pretty good memory. I guess that's why you've made it this far, huh? So I was right. Then what you told me in the main hall when this all began. I've seen her on tons of magazine covers, but I feel like that doesn't quite match up to reality. Oh, I guess Makoto did say this in the beginning. I didn't... Yeah, I don't remember anymore. Oh, so it's a different feeling. He... he when he saw her in the... In real life, I mean... The, when it was Mukuro, right? He was like... He doesn't seem to look like her. That much, right? The same in the magazines. But now, it is actually looks like her, right? This is the real Junko. Oh, are you talking about my cover photos and junk? She's gonna say it's Photoshop. Photoshop, see? You know, edited to hell and back with like computers and junk. So they aren't real. Sometimes a little lie is necessary to keep things moving along. Wouldn't you agree? That explains why she didn't quite seem the same. Because she was a different person all along. I'm me, and Mukuro is Mukuro. 
Dude, if I was here, I would have sacked her immediately already. With all our classmates that died, right? Yeah. <laughs> she tried her best. But there's just no way she could have passed as the ultimate fashionista. Two people can never become one as long as the walls of mind and body exist. Not even if they're twins. Oh, they're twins. Okay. Twins? I know. It's such a cliche, right? I'm almost embarrassed to admit it. But yeah, you killed your sister, though. So basically, Mukuro and I had your stereotypical twin relationship. The older sister, tough and proud. That was Mukuro. The younger sister, smart and cute. That was... That was her. Yeah. <laughs> Me! Junko fucking Anishima! What is happening with this girl, man? <laughs> She's changing every... Uh, what do you call this? Herself every couple of sentences. And together, we were the Despair Sisters! A.K.A. the Ultimate Despair! <laughs> Whoa! She's a totally different person now! Like I said, I get bored easy as hell! I even get fucking bored with myself! But if, if you're twins, why do you have different last names? Oh yeah, explain that. Oh, that again? You have any idea how many times people ask me that shit? Maybe it's new to your dumb ass, but it bores me to tears. Answering the same questions over and over? Just make up whatever answer you want. I don't give a shit. The truth's fucking lame anyway. Maybe she just changed her last name, right? Maybe she just didn't want to be connected with her sister. But if she was your twin, that means you killed your own sister? And for reasons deeper and darker than the ocean. <laughs> As if. Well, I suppose I'd better explain. But now she's like a teacher now. <laughs> Her changing personalities so fast. For my plan to work, someone had to be able to control the killing game from behind the scenes. So basically she's like a uh, genocide jack, but it, like into overdrive, right? She got a lot of different personalities. The so-called mastermind had to operate Monokuma, keep an eye on everyone, things like that. But after looking at the situation, I determined it would be impossible for Mukuro to perform such duties. Mm. Because naturally, she turned out to be the letdown of the family. Leaving me behind to run off and join some band of mercenaries. Such a disappointment. So, I decided to play the role of director and have her join the rest of you in your school life. So there was one uh, behind the scenes and then one on the stage itself right i could have let her work alongside me but she would have been useless to me that way besides 15 students seemed like a solid number to start with of course the fact that she was the ultimate soldier posed something of a problem she had what i call the three atrocities atrociously rank atrociously filthy atrociously repulsive it was atrociously clear just how out of touch she was with the rest of society. Meanwhile, my ultimate fashionista status has an undeniable appeal that I didn't want to go to waste. And that's... why you switched identities? Sadly, her inability to match my personality was even greater than I'd calculated. It was a lost cause. She was nothing more than a bit player, an extra unworthy of lines. An extra. Being the utter disappointment that she was, anyone would have expected her to get killed off right away. Which is precisely why I killed her. To meet everyone's expectations. That can't be your only reason, can it? Well, no, of course not. I also did it to avoid becoming bored. I've never been a stickler for following a plan to the letter, you know? <laughs> everything out and knew just what was gonna happen that'd be so boring so i changed things just a bit and decided to use mukuro to make a little point in other words mukuro's death was a one-sided premeditated act of betrayal yep mukuro didn't know that she was gonna die and that was not the plan just as i suspected when mukuro was killed 
She must have been as surprised as anybody else. Oh, yeah, yeah. Repeat this. I want to hear that again. Okay, there we go. This wasn't supposed to. Yeah, she literally said this. I remember. Why me? See? <laughs> so you figured it out? Honestly, I, I feel kind of bad for Mukuro. I mean, she's uh, she's bad as well, right? She's the disp despair sisters. What I mean is, uh, not so, not totally feel bad for her. I, I think that's the wrong word, but yeah, she got betrayed by her sister. I mean, I mean, they were gonna do something evil, yes. But what I'm saying is, she didn't expect to die like that. That's all. That's all. Yeah, I, I'm not totally feeling bad for her because of what i guess what they did right we don't even know the the capacity on what they did outside right they haven't actually they're just saying tragedy and stuff right but yes imagine that right you i mean the mukuro doing all of this like she was acting as junko she did it but then she she turned up and she got betrayed and she died well you're right there's no way mukuro could have pulled off such a convincing performance but she did teach you all a very valuable lesson don't you think like not to fight back how can you talk like that you sacrificed your own sister how does that not even bother you what i sacrificed her that's what's got you so hot under the collar i mean she totally doesn't care of course obviously look at this Jeez, misunderstand sure are scary we were the ultimate despair you know so we never had any kind of hope or expectations nope i felt despair as long as i can remember like i never should have been born at all when i was born i cried tears of total despair so that's why for us it's not a big deal whether we die or kill we're just those kinds of people we can do anything We've always been filled with despair. So when we do something, we go all the way and live without regret. So you just murdered your own sister and didn't think anything of it? That's not true at all. But now she's crying. She's emo now. But she, did she feel any despair when she killed her sister? We were twins. How could I not be sad? But well, she has mushrooms now in her head. Look at that. That's why it gets me so excited. Oh. Huh? So I guess for her, seeing something or yeah, maybe seeing something, feeling something that is despair, right? Because yeah, her sister died, right? It gets her excited instead. Like she likes that feeling, I mean. Killing my precious sister with my own two hands. That act is filled with so much despair. You can't help but put a super in front of it. Like she felt despair, of course, but she was also super excited that she did it. It's like super, 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 super despair. No, more than that. Super, 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 super despair. It just feels so good yes i mean she likes that feeling she likes that feeling of having despair i guess it to her it's probably kind of like a drug right oh i kind of i kind of i kind of what do you call this kind of noticed but not noticed but if they were yeah they were classmates before right she had bond she had bonded with her classmates right she had memories with them right and then the classmates are killing each other right so if a classmate dies she feels despair for the person right i guess for her she has she still has her memories right so when she feels the despair of her friend dying or her classmate dying she likes that feeling a lot that's why i guess she made this game right this killing game because she wanted more of this despair what the hell is wrong with you <laughs> and my sister too in that moment of death i think she must have felt that despair i mean she definitely felt despair she definitely felt betrayed there after all to be murdered by your own sister and only as an example to someone else 
She must have died feeling such excruciating hopelessness. I'm so jealous of her. Super jealous. I knew you couldn't be just some ordinary person. You're some kind of abnormality. Turning your own despair into some kind of fetish. Abnormality doesn't even begin to describe it. Yes, that's a word. Fetish. Yes, she likes it. A lot. Like, Genocide Jill is crazy for sure. But this is a whole nother level of nuts. You're saying I don't compare to some lowly beast that can only kill the weak, right? Okay, br bring Genocide Jill here. Let her talk to this uh, insane person. <laughs> so, I'm hopelessly attractive, hopelessly brilliant, hopelessly athletic. I'm the hopelessly perfect ultimate human. No, I don't think there's anything perfect about anything you just said. Yeah, Master's way more perfect, because on top of everything else, he's got that noble blood. Hmm. Don't you mean had that noble blood? And oh no, did she kill every uh, family member of, to of Ayatogami? What did you of just Yakuya? say? What do you? <laughs> you still haven't figured that part out yet, man. You guys are so slow. You haven't even solved all the mysteries, and yet here you are, yap yap yapping away. Are you talking about our memories? You've already solved this mystery, right? I'm the killer. So how about the next one? Explain, explain. Maybe you should solve the riddle of your missing memories. Then you can start gloating. Damn straight. That's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to solve all these mysteries. Damn straight. And then we'll have our victory. <laughs> I can't wait. All right, then let's just get straight to the point. What memories did you steal from us? When the group pictures were taken and those interviews, it must mean... I got it! It must have something to do with our entrance day exams. Hmm. No fair! At least give us a hint! Your brains are like sponges, all drippy and leaky. I already gave you a hint before. All the memories you lost share something in common with a few other things. Do you recall? Thinking back to what Monokuma's told us, the memories that were stolen from us and what they must be related to, the class trials, not that. Founding of Hope Speak. Motives Monokuma came up with. What was the first motive again? I forgot the first motive. But yeah, the second one. Oh, no, the first motive was the tapes, right? Yeah, the tapes. The second one was the secrets. Then you got money as well, right? So maybe motives of Monokuma came up with. I got it! Okay. You're talking about the motives you provided to try and get us to kill each other, right? So you do remember after all. Well, I would hope you wouldn't forget something so important. Honestly, this is my favorite Junko. This one, the deadpan Junko. What is your favorite one? <laughs> it was stupid of me to even ask. I apologize from the bottom of my heart for my bad manners. So then, let me ask you another question. Did you notice that each motive I presented you had a specific theme to it? A theme? Yep, you got it. So that's my question to you all. When Sayaka was murdered, what was the theme of the motive I presented? The theme for the motive. Yeah, the DVDs, a footage of the family. Sayaka was her and her friends. They had a dream they all shared. Um, international relations. Human connection. I got yeah. it. The driving force behind the motive you presented us with at that point was human connections. Ding, ding, ding. You got it. Remember those DVDs I gave you guys? Each video showed the total destruction of your most important relationships. 
For example, your family. Yeah, I wonder what happened to Makoto's family, right? For example, your friends. I ruined all those relationships and showed you the results. It was to motivate your desire to escape and kickstart your urge to kill. But still, what a cruel thing to do. You're the one that did it! Yes, well, I'm perfectly happy to accept your disapproval. Okay! Time for the next question! My god. <laughs> um, so, what was the theme for the second motive? For the second murder, the motive's theme was... That's when we got those weird envelopes from Monokuma. Yes. The past. Yeah, the past. I got it! It was our past, right? Yay! Makoto got it right again! That time, the theme was... Embarrassing memories and secrets! Yeah! <laughs> and the whole reason Mondo did what he did was to protect his secret. So, how long do you plan on dragging this out? Relax, relax. Okay, on to the next question. So, what was the motive for the third murder? The third motive was money, right? Was it $10 million or something like that? So, you could say if you wanted to kill someone, it's greed then, right? Because you want to have a lot of money. Reason Celeste turned to murder was she wanted to buy a European castle and live there with a bunch of handsome men or handsome men. The time, yeah, greed. I got it. It was money, wasn't it? Greed. Seek and destroy. Hell yeah, you got it again. Goddamn straight it was money. Celeste killed Hifumi and Taka for a little personal gain. Her greed led to all kinds of death and destruction. True, yeah. Two people died because of that. What's the point of all this? Why are you making us go through this case by case? <laughs> Don't worry, sweet cheeks. Just one more to go. Now, can you tell me the motive behind crazy-ass Sakura's crazy-ass death? So the motive in the case of Sakura's death was... She was supposed to kill her friends, right? But she didn't. It had to do with Monokuma exposing Sakura's secret. So the theme of the motive in the fourth case was... Blackmail? Secrets? Betrayal. I think betrayal, though. Yeah, but she didn't do it. Right? I got it! In her case, it was betrayal. Yeah, Sakura was honorable. Precisely. You see... She's crying again. Once I revealed Sakura's betrayal, that led to everything that came afterwards. Anyway... It looks like you answered all of my questions correctly. How painfully delightful. But what's the point? What meaning is there in asking those questions now? Relationships? Secrets? Money? Betrayal? These are all pretty standard motives, right? The most normal of normal. Totally middle of the road. But of course, those aren't the only motives that exist in this world. In fact, there are as many reasons to kill as there are people on Earth. They compel humans to kill each other, bringing despair to the world. This is what we refer to as the Seed of Despair. The Seed of Despair? Seed of Despair? Just as water, air, and food promote growth in living things, the Seed of Despair also needs nourishment. And that nourishment is hope. Despair can grow only in the presence of hope. Two sides of the same coin, divided by a razor-thin line. Such is hope and despair. How much longer is this stupid speech of yours? Weren't we discussing our missing memories? Why are you trying to change the subject? Honestly, I completely forgot about that. 
Now they were talking about the missing memories. If you would listen, you would see I'm not changing the subject. We are discussing your memories. What I'm trying to say is the seed of despair is closely tied to your own memories. Uh, how so? You see, by taking away your memories, I gave you hope. Of course, that hope merely existed to be consumed by despair. How could taking away someone's memories give them hope? And plus, you haven't given us any hope anyway! Is that so? All you've been able to think about during your time here is how to escape. The mere fact that that's what you want proves I gave you hope. What are you talking about? If none of you wanted to escape this school, the killings never would have taken place. True, yeah. That is why we took your memories, so that you would have the desire to leave. If they didn't take the memories, you saw the tapes, right? The DVDs. All of them agreed to come here, right? And they may live here forever. So if she did not remove the memories, yeah, no one would kill anyone here, right? Because yeah, they're, they're still precious friends by then. If the memories didn't go. But when the memories went away, they're pretty much like strangers now. And see, like putting as, as she said, I guess what do you call it? Seeds of despair. Giving all these motives to kill, right? The only reason we want to leave is because you took our memories. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> Correct, Amundo! Which means if we did have our memories, then we wouldn't want to leave. Do I understand that right? Correct, Amundo. What? Why the hell would having our memories make us not want to leave? <laughs> A most troubling thought, isn't it? But it's not enough. I want more distress, more despair! I put so much effort into creating hope in order to feed your despair and make it grow! So, just like Crazy Yeti slashing his prices and passing the savings on to you, let me give you a hint! Crazy Eddie? Where is it Crazy Eddie again? I think I know that name, I just don't know what... what game. Uh -huh. Really? Tell us! Okie dokie! Like they say, seeing is believing! I'd like for you to see the outside world! The outside world? Okay, yes, finally! You mean the world beyond the school walls? This honestly just feels like Attack on Titan, right? Like they don't know what's behind the walls. In the beginning, yeah. So something really did happen out there. Now are you interested in what I have to say? You wanna see what's out there? Hoo 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 hoo! I wanna see too! See your faces sink into despair! <laughs> now then, open sesame! Okay, here we go. Behold! The world beyond the school wall! This is the outside world you've all been so anxious to claw your way back into! Look at a TV. Wait, is that even real though? Everything is Monokuma? There's a big robot Monokuma. People with Monokuma masks. Rioting, I guess. What the? So yeah, the outside world is. Uh, I don't know the word. I for I don't know the word, but it's messed up. Let's just say messed up right now. Dangerous. The world has grown so very dangerous. That's what this means. Yeah, very dangerous. What are you talking about? None of this makes any sense! What? What am I looking at? This is a scene from a movie or something, right? 
What you just saw, all of you should recognize it. What about it should we recognize? This whole thing is insane. That world is locked away within the memories that were taken from you. If you can't remember, please just try. Do your best to try and recall. <laughs> Better kick your brain in the ass, because it's up to that gray lump whether you live or die. I don't remember ain't a fucking excuse no more, because now it's time for the final class trial. Man, wasn't it wasn't it a final class trial anyway? Uh, Genocide Jack's memory. Oh, maybe Genocide Jack's remember everything, right? Come on, bitches! Remember or die! What the fuck happened outside? You want us to remember or whatever, but... Yeah, because when her and Toko have confusing video you different memories, us, right? I don't understand a damn thing! What's the meaning of the footage we saw? Is this another one of your practical jokes? I mean... You're telling us to remember, but what am I supposed to be remembering? If nobody. Okay, can okay. You no, know, you can remember the other one. No, that's wrong. Because they have two Actually, separate memories, she right? Might remember. Yes. Uh, who might remember? You, your other self. The other Toko, Genocide Jack. What? The two of them share certain kinds of knowledge, but their memories aren't linked, right? I see. If their memories are separate, then even if one personality's forgotten, there's a chance the other may still have those memories. What do you say, Toko? Are you telling me to swap places with her? No, absolutely not. That'd be like forfeiting my entire identity. Toko, you're the only one we can rely on now. And then she's gonna say, yes, master. <laughs> Instantly, she didn't even say anything. Just sneezes. Dun, da, da, da! It's me, <laughs> your friendly neighborhood serial killer. Boy, she just gave in like it was nothing. I'm going to ask you a question, and I want to have it answered immediately. Do you know anything about this video? Huh? What video? But by, by, by the way, I just noticed, right? If you've been watching like um animated show, Batman animated show, Harley Quinn's voice, right? Is it the same voice actor for Genocide Jack? Kinda seems like it, especially when she when she uh spoke earlier. Yeah. The video that's playing right now. Who the hell are you? Oh, um, I'm the mastermind. Oh, nice to meet you. Uh, nice to meet you too. It's kind of weird, though. That's enough. Just look at the stupid screen. Aye, aye, Roger. You got it, Captain. So is this real? Well, does it look familiar? I don't have all the details, but... Of course it does! Then you remember all the stuff it's showing? Of course I do! So you didn't lose your memory after all. Then why didn't you say something earlier? She's gonna say nobody asked. I only answer questions when someone bothers to ask me. I'm the quiet type, you know? <laughs> Oh my god, she's the worst liar in the world! More importantly, if you really do remember, what is it? Huh? What's the matter, Master? Do you really not remember the tragedy? The tragedy? Oh no! You seriously forgot? Maybe I can help you remember with a kiss. Okay, explain. Just answer the question. What happened out there? Well, I can't really say if it happened or if it's still happening. But it was the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. What? Why is that phrase coming up now? Because it's all because of that event. What is? Are you serious? I'm talking about the way the world is now. Is now? 
The world's been destroyed, get it? Destroyed? Explain yourself. Tell us everything you know. Copy that, darling. Okay, so this big, awful, tragic event, they started just calling it the tragedy, happened about a year ago. It was so big and so bad that even this murderous fiend went pale at the sight of it. I guess you could say what happened was man-made. But it was more on the level of a worldwide natural disaster! Either way, there's no doubt that it was the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history! And as a result, in basically no time flat! The world turned out the way it did, and that's that. That's all there is to it? <laughs> Come on! There wasn't a single concrete description in there! Yeah. Well, it just so happens I don't know any of the specifics! Miss Moreau saw it all play out in real time, so why don't you ask her? Mmm, okay, so it, it's mostly on the other side with Soko. We already did, and she didn't know anything. That's why we're asking you. And yeah, she doesn't remember anything, of course. <laughs> Okay, okay, that's enough of your little lover's quarrel. Whatever happened, it doesn't matter at this exact point in time, right? No, I want to actually know. Can you explain it to me? The end justifies the means. Everything serves the outcome. In other words, the world has ended. That's the important thing. Man, yeah, they don't want to explain it. They just pretty much just said, yeah, world ended and that's it. Eat it. <laughs> the world just end it's it's the world calm down it's okay there's no need to panic every living person will be dead in a hundred years anyway so the world ending isn't that big a deal oh come on now you're just being ridiculous well as long as we're being ridiculous i have another ridiculous story to tell you it's the story of the tagami corporation which has given Byakuya's life all its meaning. Okay. What? What did you say? I'm glad to see you took the bait. You bit into it like a middle-aged secretary at an all-you-can-eat cake buffet. <laughs> hey, hey! So, what do you think happened to the Togami family? Hm? Okay, pretty much everything is the same. The Togami family fell. Correct! Well done, peasant! But I didn't say anything yet. I just got so fucking bored waiting, I couldn't help it! <laughs> Even if you're wrong, eventually you'll figure it out, right? <laughs> Till then, you're just going in circles. So, no matter what you pick, you get the right answer. Pretty innovative, don't you think? But, do you think it might be a disease? Getting bored so easy, I mean. Do you think I might be sick? Anyway, like I was saying, Byakuya's entire lineage has been totally annihilated! What? What the hell are you talking about? I can confirm that his entire family has died. Even the distant relatives. The Tagami name has perished. Stop with these idiotic jokes! Stop! And said with such authority! A peasant would dare challenge us? The avatar of divine punishment? You must learn your place, peasant. You are no longer the ultimate affluent progeny. They, they couldn't possibly be gone. The Togami family is destined to guide the world. Hell, there is no world anymore, remember? It got fucked a full year ago. <laughs> Hold on. That doesn't make any sense. Huh? I don't make sense. There's no way that happened a year ago. I mean, we only came to this school a few weeks ago. Don't you understand, brother? You have amnesia. Who knows how long it has been between this, when you came to the school, and when you woke up in the classroom. If some kind of world-ending event happened a year ago, then how do you explain the totally normal world we were living in up till then? Who 
<laughs> Have you considered the possibility that you're mistaken about that? Mistaken? Well, if I'm understanding you right, it sounds like you think the tragedy happened a year before you arrived here. Well, well yeah. I mean, like he said, we just got here a few weeks ago. A few weeks ago? Ooh, I get it. You're saying that what happened two years ago actually happened more recently, right? Two years ago. Jesus. How old are they? How old are the characters, by the way? Does it say here? Um, They don't really say it. They don't say the age of the characters here. Okay. Huh? Two years ago? Well, I mean, you guys all started attending Hope's Peak Academy two years ago. <laughs> what the hell is this chick trying to say? I understand why you'd have trouble accepting it, but in the end, you can't deny the truth. And the truth is, everything is cause and effect. Deny that, and you may as well give yourself up to God. So, you must surely understand all the hints I've given you so far, right? What are the memories I took from you? The memories of their school life. Come now, answer us. Answer with all your heart and soul. How are we supposed to answer? I... I just don't know what's going on anymore. Still, we have to answer somehow. If we don't, everything ends here. Memories that were stolen from us. If what Jungo says is true, if he first came here two years ago. But the rest of us only remember getting here within the last few weeks or so. Imagine that, right? You have two years of your life getting, yeah, getting erased. You don't even remember anything that happened. All of those memories, all of the bonds that you created with your friends is just gone. Can you even put it back? I don't know. So the memory she took from us is their life at Hope Speak. Yeah, because on the pictures, it was still pretty normal, right? They were having their normal high school experience, right? Their life. And all of that was forgotten. I got it! If we accept that what you say is true, then we've all lost our memories of the last two years after coming to this school. Nope. Nope, no, 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 nope, no. I mean, no matter what anyone says, uh-uh. Another correct answer. Well done, peasant. Seriously? This routine again? We've lost two years worth of memories? That's right. You've already spent two full years here at Hope's Peak Academy. And that entire period of time is precisely what you've forgotten. I don't remember the last two years of my life. That... that's not possible! I want to think that too. I don't want to believe it. But that's nothing but our desire. I don't want to believe. I want to be... I want it to be impossible. But if it is the truth... Then we have to accept it. Hmm. Locker, pocketbook, group photo, photo of Kyoko, headmaster, and locker notebook. Two years worth of memories. Is it here though? Anything here? Okay, notebook is. Oh, yeah. The, the notes of the different classes. This one is for Kyoko, right? That she's saying that there's two despairs. So it's probably this one that we need. It's not this one, of course. Not this one. I could never lose something like that. We've been living here for two years? Hell no! That's impossible! I mean... I haven't gone to any awesome school events or anything! Heck, I've never even gone to a single class! 
Got him. No, that's wrong. Hero, there's something I'd like you to take a look at. And that was his notebook, right? We saw it in his locker, I guess. His locker had a crystal ball, so it was definitely his locker. This notebook right here. Huh? Hey, why is my name written on it? I found it in the locker room on the second floor. If you don't mind, could you take a look inside? Sure, whatever you want. But I've never seen this notebook before in my life. It's kind of similar. No, even more than that. Uh, this is absolutely my handwriting without a doubt. But how is this? I don't remember ever writing in this thing. No, no way. It looks like you actually did attend class here at Hope's Peak. But somehow, you forgot all about it. Lies! It's a one big lie! I don't want to believe it either. But there's also no explanation for this pocketbook. True. And whose pocketbook is that? It's hers. It's mine. And the handwriting inside is also mine. There's no doubt about it. But just like Hero, I have no memory of ever writing in it. And the reason for that is the two years of missing memories? <laughs> After seeing all the evidence, do you have any choice but to acknowledge the truth? Isn't it just so desperately dark? The mystery solved, but it's like a goddamn funeral in here! Shit, man! I've never been to a funeral! Hell yes! Two years of school life. How many moments of blossoming youth have you missed out on? How many fun classes? How many school events? This was your chance to build lasting friendships, right? And on top of that, something tragically sad happened one year ago. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. I like how he, she talks like that. I love that. Right before everyone's <laughs> eyes, the world came crashing down. You absorbed all that despair, but then you forgot it all. And once you'd forgotten, you made the choice to subject yourselves to this killing game. Oh, and there's one other thing. To be even more precise, the memories you all lost were... Actually, never mind. I'm bored. Explaining stuff is boring. Dude, are you serious? Why are you not saying it fully? What is wrong with you? What? We are bored of this world. Everyone always talks big, declaring all the great things they'll do. But then they always fizzle out. This world is just so desperately fucking boring! What are you talking about? In a way, I'm jealous of all of you. To give yourself over so completely to such stimulating despair? Yeah, so figure out the rest for yourselves! I'm sick of expositioning all this shit! Figure out... what? Figure out where your memories come apart. That's at the heart of all of this. Is she talking about the moment where we must have lost our memories? I can only think of one time, just after I set foot in the main hall for the first time, yeah, and then he he, he got knocked out, right? He passed out. I got it! The moment I lost my memories, I can't think of any time other than that day. When I first came to the gates of this school and stepped foot in the main hall. When I passed out, I was overcome with a strange sensation. Wow, you still have enough spirit to keep on talking, huh? Um, so I don't know much about the details, 
But it seems like everyone remembers passing out, right? And your sense of time got all messed up because of the memory loss after that? I guess it must have been something like that. After I passed out, I woke up in a classroom with my head on a desk. I assumed not much time had passed since I'd collapsed in the main hall. <laughs> but instead, two whole years had gone by! The reason it felt so short was because... Our memories of the time in between had been completely removed? You got it, honey! Two years of memories? Poof! Gone! Which means, of course... When everyone met for the first time, it wasn't actually for the first time. Unaware of this fact, you took the time to introduce yourselves to each other, but... But by that point, we'd already spent two years together at the school. That's what those photos reveal, isn't it? <laughs> yep, that's what they reveal. You were all such close friends. You spent two years together, and then you started killing each other. And it was all so you could escape into a world that's already been annihilated! <laughs> what a terribly tragic tale! Even if you left now, there's nothing you could do to fix it! You're the one who set things up to be like this! I love you all so much. What? Once your school life here began, I thought about you constantly. It's only natural that I would fall in love. So, since I love you guys so much, I'll tell you all about it! Are you actually, though? Are you just, are you just gonna say, ah, oh, never mind, I'm bored? All about the idea we came up with as the ultimate despair! Our plan to bring despair to all mankind! The ultimate despair? all mankind let's go back in time two years okay okay back to when everyone first came to this school school life during that first year overflowed with hope and happiness oh boy it was just the worst everyone was enjoying themselves so much you were all having the time of your lives! But that couldn't last forever, of course. The peacefulness only made it through that first year. Because after that, an event unfolded that hammered a soul-crushing despair into all of humanity. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. The tragedy. All too soon, the world's days of peace came to a bloody end. And as you can imagine, the school was no exception. The tragedy even made its way here, leading to the extermination of most of the students. What... are you? Hmm? What do you mean? The most tragic event in human history, and the ultimate despair that caused it. I can't believe it's all because of just you and Mukuro. Was it some kind of organization? An angry mob? An incredibly motivated family? You have a point. If I had to describe it, I'd say... It was none of those. How can I put it? It was more of an ideological thing. Despair is contagious, you know? It's almost like a natural phenomenon. Everyone is capable of it. And now the entire world has fallen into despair. In other words, if you see despair as the enemy, then your enemy 
is the world itself. I just don't understand why. We didn't ask you to try to understand. This was a tangent anyway, unrelated to the matter at hand. Okay, so let's get back to the story. Hope's Peak had taken so much damage. You guys were the only survivors. The members of the 78th class of Hope's Peak Academy were the only ones left. And then, something super neat happened! Now pay attention, cause this is important, and I'm only gonna say it once! Finally, okay, say it. So guess what? To protect everyone who had survived, Hope's Peak was transformed into a shelter! That's right! It was transformed into a shelter! Ah, I said it twice! Now, someone was responsible for that transformation. For creating what would eventually become your prison. Do any of you know who that might have been? Hmm. The headmaster. I got it! It could only have been the headmaster of Hope's Peak Academy. He wanted to turn the school into a shelter to try and protect us. To protect us from the despair and tragedy taking place outside. That's why he asked us to make that promise. To say that we were willing to live in this school forever. believe he had something like that in mind, yes. If you, the collective hope of a new generation, could survive, maybe the world could have a fresh start. Yeah, the headmaster put that much faith in you. And because we had that same hope, that's why we all agreed to live here forever. But creating the shelter was also his single biggest mistake. <laughs> it's laughable, really. He was the headmaster, but he had no idea. He had no idea that we, the ultimate despair, had already made our way into the school. So what was supposed to be a shelter to keep you safe became a cage that made it impossible for you to escape despair. <laughs> I have to say, it really helped me out a lot. It saved me a ton of time. By the way, it was you yourselves who blocked off the windows, the doors, all the exits. Under the headmaster's direction, you all went about your work like obedient little sheep. Okay, at least they're, they're, they're telling us this. Yeah, or at least Junko is telling us this. You mean we trapped ourselves in here? And then you forgot all about it and started bitching about how you were trapped in here. Once you'd finished building your little shelter, it was time for me and Mukuro to get to work. And thus began the killing game. Me and Mukuro had come here, spending the last two years waiting for that moment. That moment where you all began killing each other served as the climax of our global despair plan. And the only reason you survived the tragedy was so that you could be a part of it. You only let us live so we could go around killing each other? Is that what you're saying? I mean, that is what she's saying. Why? Why would you do that? Because this was so much more than a simple high school death match. Rather, it was a method to hunt down and destroy every last remaining speck of hope in the world. What are you saying? Well, it would seem that there's a little bit left out there. A few souls unwilling to give up hope. So I thought I should show them, which is why I... <laughs> well... 
Why don't you tell me? What the mastermind did to show everyone in the outside world that was... Okay, Gambit, Hangman's. What is the word? H A C K. Hack. Okay, hi, hi, Jack. Now I understand. I mean, it's broadcasted live, right? Everything. You're talking about you hijacking the airwaves, aren't you? Uh huh. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Maybe her goal is is to show that to show people that the hope or I guess for them if they are the hope, right? And they're killing each other. Is that it? To show the world the murders taking place at this school, which was meant to be a symbol of hope. Yeah, yeah. That was the whole point of the ultimate despair. When I said climax, that was what I was talking about. The world watched as you fell into despair and began to kill each other one after another. Like this is the the, the students are the world's hope, but what Junko and Mukuro did was instead to show the people in the outside that this is your hope. They're killing each other, right? Despair is as contagious as any disease. Any hope left turns to despair. <laughs> Isn't the power of television just amazing? By the way, since we started broadcasting, a whole bunch of people have tried to come and rescue you. Oh. Uh, are you serious? But utilizing the heavy weaponry I installed around the school grounds, I had no problem expelling them. Honestly, how do you explain those weapons though, right? Where did she get all of these weapons? Expelled them? I have to thank you all. They were a relentless bunch, refusing to give up on hope and trying to force their beliefs on the world. But in the end, I was able to give them the final despair. Death. So you just used us? To bring despair to everyone in the outside world? Well, sure, but I also gave you a second chance at life, right? So it's like... Give and take! Give and take? You're so full of shit! And there's a reason I chose you guys to survive when all the other students were dropping like flies! I mean, we built up two years of memories together! You were all my treasured classmates! Yep. Sorry, that's a lie. What? I just figured you'd despair even more when you found out a friend had betrayed you. And that's the truth, which is what you wanted, right? So, um, does it make you feel utterly lost and hopeless? Uh, wait, can you can you check again? You were all my treasured classmates. That was a lie. I just figured out you despair even more when you found out a friend had betrayed you, and that's the truth. Okay. You solved the mystery, but despair at the truth, right? Don't tell me. Did you seriously count on the possibility that we would solve your mystery? And if we did, then what? Our final desire for creating this world of despair was so we could experience one last class trial. If you were bold enough to solve the mystery, only to discover that the truth was utterly hopeless, how would you react? What would you do? Wait, what? Does she think that these people will despair? See? Discovering the truth doesn't necessarily lead to a sense of hope. But then again, it's gonna be the opposite one. Yes. All of these students will still have hope. Truth can be full of despair, too! Like right fucking now! Truth full of despair. That's... Not to mention, all those motives I talked about were totally meaningless. I mean, with the world having ended and all. Meaningless? Then we... We've been murdering each other? For nothing? And think about it. You chose to lock yourselves up here. 
then started murdering each other to get out. We weren't just random strangers either. We were classmates. We'd spent two years together. <laughs> no, even I can't laugh at that. <laughs> we get it. We get it, okay? You're totally awesome, right? We get it already! So help us! I'll do anything! Just help me! A peasant begging for his life? Oh, how delightful! We've never witnessed such a travesty firsthand! But I'm sorry to say, begging doesn't work on me! All I want is despair, and there's no reason for it! And since there's no reason, there's no argument against it. There's just no understanding it. No argument, no understanding. What better definition of ultimate despair could there be? Wait, hold on. You've just been going on about whatever you feel like, but... But there's no real reason for us to believe anything you have to say. I mean, yeah, Makoto has a point, though. She's serious now. Look. Huh? You say the world's fallen apart, but I haven't seen it for myself. Yeah, maybe she could be lying, right? So I don't acknowledge it. I don't accept it as the truth. Until you see it with your own eyes, truth and falsehood overlap one another. In other words, you're not unlike Schrodinger's cat right now. Is that what you're saying? If so, what then? Are you saying you won't accept the truth? Until you can go outside and see for yourself? Well, you better not! You go out into that world and you're all gunners for sure! Trust me, I'm not lying about any of this! Well, even if it's all true... I refuse to give in! I refuse to lose to you! For the sake of everyone you've killed! Huh? Everyone I've killed? What are you talking about? You're the ones who killed them! I didn't kill anyone. I simply gave you a little nudge in the right direction. And that's all it took for you to start killing each other. You're nothing but bloodthirsty animals. No, but you did kill Mukuro, though. That's why anyone was murdered here, peasant. Say what you want about hope. Creatures of instinct, right? Despair comes naturally. I didn't kill anyone. I simply gave you a little nudge in the right direction. You killed Mukuro. Hell yes! <laughs> That's funny as shit! No! This isn't just some game to us. It's murder! Plain and simple! You stole our memories, invented reasons for us to do it! You pushed us all into a corner! It's all your fault! You certainly have a talent for passing the buck, don't you? That must be your hope, huh? But we don't have much time left to keep up this banter. We have to draw things to a close soon. What do you mean? I'm talking about the vote, of course! You didn't forget about that little rule, did you? Everyone is gonna vote for you, Junko. You're gonna die. Oh, and also, since this will be the last vote, I decided to change the rules. Okay. What? You guys so full of hope, and me so full of despair. Okay, I guess her rules... I'm, I'm guessing, I'm guessing right now. Her rule is gonna be if one person the, uh, votes a different one, right? For example... Uh, five people vote for Junko, and then one person voted for another one. We fail. Is it gonna be like that? I've decided to have you vote which one will be punished. If even one of you votes to punish Hope, well then... We lose. I'll consider that a win for me, and punish everyone on the side of Hope. So we need to be... So we need. they need to be, I mean, um, the same answers. Or the same vote. Even if it's just one person? Oh, but don't worry. I won't be voting, of course. Even if you don't, you've still got the upper hand in all this. It's okay. Nobody would actually vote to kill themselves, right? Oh, let me just mention one more thing. When I win to punish you guys, you'll have to stay here till you grow old and die. No fighting. 
fighting, no killing. That's your punishment. I mean, it's not that bad. Yeah, she's not gonna execute you outright. But yeah, you will have to live here forever. That is the punishment. You cannot see what's outside anymore. You mean, we just... We'd have to just... live here? She's saying she'll let us live! If you're not happy with that, then go ahead and punish me. And make your way to the outside world. Oh no, but yeah, maybe Hagakura will vote like... No. <laughs> Enter a world fallen from grace, where only despair exists, where you'd likely be dead within a day. What are you saying? So no matter what, we're doomed. So now she's putting like doubt in the, the students now. Like maybe some of them wants to live here. Some of them doesn't want to go out now. Who knows? Wait a sec. I just got hit with an inspiration bomb. Dying of old age is boring as shit, right? The audience at home isn't going to dig that at all. So here's what will happen. One of you will get to experience an instant super impressive punishment. What? You... you can't just... Do you mean to say... you'll execute one of us? And I get to decide... who's gonna have to suck it down! I mean, yeah, the, the guy, the guy next to you. Makoto, you're up! Me? Yeah, you've been acting up, causing all kinds of trouble! I hate you! So let me make this clear. Everyone has two choices in front of them. If a single person votes for Hope to be punished, then only Makoto will receive a harsh punishment, and the rest of you will live here in peace. Also, Makoto dies. <laughs> if, on the other hand, you desire to see us punished, then you must all leave this place. I will force you out, ensuring you all die horrible deaths in the outside world. What I'm saying is, if you sacrifice Makoto, the rest of you will get to live out your lives. What? Has your resolve softened? Have you lost confidence? Are you afraid of being punished? Don't you have faith in your friends? No, that's not it. It's okay. You're right to be afraid. It would seem all of those around you have realized the futility of going against me. So it's either die of old age, you get to live inside the school, or die outside instantly. Now, what are they gonna choose? Guys? Yeah, see, everyone is doubting what who to vote for now. It's so beautiful. Your lovely faces, eroded by despair, have come together as one. Besides, Yoko, you could never betray your father, could you? What? I mean, the headmaster's only wish was that all of you would survive, right? That's why he tried to trap you all here, after all. The least you can do is try to honor your dead father's wishes. <laughs> Kyoko, one person's despair is enough to seal your fate. Isn't that just the most hopeless outcome ever? So, who do you think's gonna give in? Whose despair is gonna sign your death warrant? No one. Nobody's gonna give in to despair. We're not gonna lose to you! Everyone better have hope now. So boring. Stub until the very end, huh? Well, that's fine. Then let's just hurry up and get it over with. It's time for the final vote. Everything will come to an end. Your stupid hope. And your stupid life! The final vote. This is it. The ultimate confrontation. I have to show everyone, I have to make them remember. I have to convince them to not give up. To live in despair? That's not really living at all. So what do we have here? What, this again? Okay. We won't give up! 
As long as there's hope, we'll never give up. If I were to die, that would be the end of Hope's Peak Academy. <laughs> By the way, the air outside is totally polluted, you know. The only reason we're okay in here is thanks to the air purifiers in the physics lab. Everyone is feeling the doubt if I right die, now. The purifiers will screech to a halt. In other words, as soon as I die, the communal life you've all been living will come to an end. All of you will have to leave. You'll have to go into the world outside, where only death and despair are waiting. So, what are you gonna do? Will you just die? Is that what you want? Even Kyoko, look. There's no hope left in the world. When you sleep, it's on a bed of despair. The world is in despair. You are in despair. Okay, if I don't do something, everyone's gonna be consumed. There, You claim there's no hope left in the world, but if despair is contagious like you say, then so is hope. I'll use my own hope to plant the seeds of hope in inside everyone's... Oh, okay, okay. Let's get the we hope that he said. Up. As long as there's hope, we'll no, 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 no. If I were to die, oh my god, I just fast the forward way, the, the only reason is thanks to the air. I shot if it I instead. Die, in other words, <laughs> the communal life you all of you will have to, have to go into the world outside. So we need to get the hope, so, I guess, and then shoot then it to everyone stop. else, right? Yeah, let's do it again. Let's do it again. Did I got three health left? We won't give up. As long as there's hope, we'll never give up. Okay. If I were to die, that would be the end of hopes. <laughs> First one, I guess. Don't lose hope now. All my fortune telling senses are telling me not to leave this place. <laughs> but to live means moving forward, right? So even if it's hard, even if we're scared, we don't have any choice, do we? I want to keep on living. I want to open the next door. There must be something new waiting for me. So that's why. That's why. No matter what, I need to get out of here. Okay, we got one down. The whole fortune telling thing doesn't matter anymore. What matters is my own gut feelings. We won't give up. As long as there's hope, we'll never give up. If I were to die, that would be the end. I, I've decided to have... By the way, the air outside is totally polluted. The only reason we're okay is thanks to the air purifiers. Number two. Don't lose hope now. I've been thinking about all this. And I was thinking, at a time like this, what would Sakura do? If Sakura would beat the shit out of Junko at this time, yeah. You only get stronger by taking adversity by the horns. Confront that thorny path with enthusiasm. That sounds like something she'd say, right? No. I think that's definitely what she'd say. Which is why I... Yeah! I've made up my mind! We won't give up. As long as there's hope, we'll never give up. If I were to die, that would be the end. I, I decided. By the way, the, the only reason is thanks to the air pure. Say whatever you want. If I die, the purifiers. In other words, as soon as I die, the communal life you've all been living will come to an end. Meh. <laughs> Don't lose even, hope now. Even genocide Jack will have hope. <laughs> I don't care either way. I'm fine with whichever one is more interesting. Actually, I may not look like it, but I always hated school. Hell, no matter how I look, still hate it. <laughs> oh, but no matter what, Master has to come along with us. 
We won't give up. As long as there's hope, okay. we'll never give up. This is number four now. If I were to die, that would be the end. I have to By the way, the, the only reason is thanks to the air. Say whatever you want. If I die, in other words, the communal life you've all... I can keep on living as long as I have my master's love. All of you will have to leave. <laughs> You'll have to go into the world outside. We're only death. Don't lose hope now. What's the matter? You're not actually trying to encourage me, are you? <laughs> Ridiculous. It never even crossed my mind that I might give in to despair. But don't misunderstand me. I couldn't care in the slightest what happens to you. Okay. I just have to keep my word. I swore I would end the life of the Mastermind. Besides, the Togami family isn't dead because I'm still alive. So until I can restore the Togami family and bring it greater glory than it's ever known. We won't give up. Oh, the music changed. As long as there's hope, we'll never give up. If I were to die, that would be the end. I have to say By the way, the, the only reason is thanks to the air. Say whatever you want. If I die, in other words, the communal life you've all... I can keep on living. All of you will have to leave. You'll have to go into the world outside. I already said I would claim the Mastermind's life. But so, what are you gonna do? Will you just die? Is that what you want? We did it. Don't it's done. Now. I didn't really know my father. So I can't pretend to know what he was thinking. But even if we're just connected by blood, there's one thing I am sure of. He would never want us to abandon Makoto and choose to stay here. I can't explain why exactly. But if I'm sure of anything, I'm sure of that. Just because we don't actually know anything, does that mean we can't understand? Could it be that... No, never mind. So, Makoto. I don't think you wound up at this school because you had good luck or bad luck. I think you came here for a different reason entirely. You came here to bring down the ultimate despair. You came here to confront despair without ever giving up. And if that's true, I think we could call you the ultimate hope. The ultimate hope think? now. Nice. What the? Didn't expect this, huh, Junko? Nice. The ultimate hope has been added to the truth bullet section. So uncool. Your stupid faces, the stupid things you've said, the stupid way you all treat each other. It's all so uncool. So unhip. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. She's panicking because she's losing. Lame, 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 lame. It's not... I'm not any kind of elite anything. Hope isn't a talent to develop, but... But still. But I still? Oh, hell no. This again. You suck. What do you want? So uncool. You dare to stand against us? Hope is a joke. Who are you? Your idiocy ends here. You're gross. Suffer from despair. I just love despair. You suck. What do you want? So uncool. You're unbearable. Hope is a joke. Who are you? Would you like to die? You're gross. Suffer from despair. Everything is pointless! Suffer from despair! I just love despair! Everything is pointless! Okay, we got it. Defeat her. Despair into Eat it. Hope keeps on going. Okay, I thought I was gonna lose there because we didn't have that much health anymore. I, I was kind of panicking as well. I refuse to get bored! I refuse to throw it all away! I refuse to despair! 
because all I have going for me is the desire to keep moving forward. What's going on? What's happening? Oh, we won. We finished it. Yes. That was very long. It's almost three hours if you connect this episode and the last episode, right? 120. It looks like we've reached the end. I think it may be time to vote. Bye-bye, Junko. You're gonna die. We just gotta pull the lever, right? Good. I'm ready to go. <laughs> Let's put an end to these trials. Put an end to the killing. With our own hands. Imagine if Junko said, No, I'm not gonna die, and then killed everyone else. <laughs> Guilty. The hell? Indeed. You've lost, Junko. I lost? You did lost. I lost me? No way. Well, that's just... It can't be. Uh, um... You still don't accept it. <laughs> Even the ultimate despair herself is vulnerable to the onslaught of despair, it would seem. What the heck? But there's no use trying to fight it now. Well, that's just... Totally the best! Well, she wants this now? I mean, I guess she's gonna feel despair, right? Because she's gonna die. Yeah. And she lost. So this is despair. She likes the feeling. Like, look at this. She's drooling. We came to the school two years ago. Created our incredibly detailed plan. I even killed my own sister for it. And now I... To come this far and fail at the very end. True despair. Yeah, she's feeling despair because she failed. It's kind of weird, but... She likes the feeling. What are you talking about? And now I... Don't you see? I was so hopelessly desperate. I was bored of the world at the moment I was born. That's why I've been looking forward to this desperately. One, uh, just once in a lifetime experience. It is my first and last colossal despair here at the moment of the death. To have the chance to taste of the highest great despair, the utter failure of my dreams. True despair. I am so hopelessly happy right now. Huh? Wait, is she enjoying this? She's enjoying this because of the despair she's feeling that she lost. Anyway. So, are you prepared to admit defeat? <laughs> you think I care whether I win or lose? Either way, it doesn't change a thing. Totally the best! Outside is only despair. Inside is only despair. No matter where you go, despair awaits you. That's not true. Not possible. You're wrong. Don't make me repeat myself. Let me tell you this right now. We no longer fear despair. Okay. Because we've decided to enter the outside world with hope. <laughs> yeah, Makoto totally seduced us over to his side. I can't wait to see the outside, though. <laughs> Everyone. Hey. You said that despair is a contagious as any disease. However. But the same is true of hope. <laughs> All you have to do is look at us to see how true that is. Uh, no, no, no. Stop it. I hate those faces you're making. To see those awful looks causes me nothing but pain. There's one last thing. Fine, now let me just say one last thing. If you guys want to get all hang up on the world of hope, that's no skin on my nose. But just be warned, from this point on, one despair after another will stand in your way. <laughs> no matter where you run, no matter where you hide, maybe you'll find some hope. But there is a very fine line dividing that hope from bitter despair. Knowing that you still plan to cling onto your hope? Of course, we. It's fine, it's fine. Shut up, that was a rhetorical question. You interrupted my monologue. I'm almost done though, so whatever. <laughs> because it's almost punishment time, right? It can't be. Do you really intend to go through with this? I mean, she deserves this though. What are you gonna do? Stop her? Change her? Can you even do that? <laughs> That was the agreement, right? Hey, hold on. It's not like I want you to die. You don't have to. 
Like all of the students, the classmates, your friends died because of her. They cannot be brought back anymore. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! How many times do I have to tell you? The act of living brings me no hope at all. <laughs> all I want now is to taste the despair of death that you only get once in life, so... Don't get in my way! Yeah, she wants it to happen because she wants that despair of her dying. Uh, look, she's so happy. She's gonna click it. <laughs> she can't wait for this to happen. So this is how the despair of death feels. <sighs> it's so wonderful. Even a tenth of this despair. Even a hundredth. I want every last soul on this planet to taste such despair. I want the entire world to die with that despair in its mouth. Okay. Let's do this. Look at her eyes. It's spinning. I've reserved an extra special punishment for last. Let's give it everything we've got. It's punishment time! <laughs> what? Well, Monokuma's still there. He's gonna take her away? Oh no, they're just walking. Okay. Bye bye, Junko. What kind of punishment is this? Baseball? Hey, this is the field, right? The ultimate punishment. 1000 blows. Oh, she's gonna take every single punishment. The cage of death. So every punishment that the other characters had, she's gonna take everything. Excavator destroyer. And blast off. After school lesson? Oh, this one. She's so happy that she's gonna die. Jesus. The way it splattered her. Ugh. It's over. Emergency override. It's over. We can get outside now. Yes. Oh, yeah, nothing's happening. Okay, there we go. I thought he hanged for a second there. And that's how everything came to an end. The final class trial. Junko and Ushima, The ultimate despair. Life at Hope Speak Academy. It was all over. Ultimate pain. Ultimate suffering. Ultimate despair. Ultimate execution. Ultimate death. Mm. Monokuma hair ties. Oh, okay. Save. But even after saying it was all over, it's not like the building exploded or collapsed in on itself or anything. That wasn't the kind of ending waiting for us. Nothing changed. Well, with one exception. Did I... If... If I was there, I would sleep. Yeah, I would tell my friends, the classmates, yeah, let's take a rest for one day. Like, you can finally sleep without worrying about anything, right? No one's gonna die. No one is gonna try to kill you. You can relax. Finally. Just like Junko said, they shut off immediately. That was the only difference. Goodbye, Despair High School. We made it. We finally made it. We're gonna go outside. We left the courtroom and made our way to the main hall. We stood in front of the door. Nobody made a sound. I felt almost absent-minded. That was our epilogue before the final ending. We were stuck in limbo, unmoving, unsure. But in the end... Hey. We can't just stand around like this forever. At some point, we need to leave. To nobody's surprise, it was Kyoko who broke the silence. Makoto, 
What'd you do to honors? Okay. As if awakened by Kyoko's words, I took out the object we'd gotten. Up until the moment of her death, it had belonged to Junko. And in the end, she dropped it before us. So, um... But is that really it? Is that really the key to this door? Indeed. You don't have to read into what she said too much to find the answer. If, on the other hand, you desire to see us punished, then you must all leave this place. I will force you out, ensuring you all die horrible deaths in the outside world. In other words... I will force you out. I mean, could she still enforce that though? Like, yeah, she's dead now, right? If suddenly the friend, the, the classmate says like, Oh, I don't want to go outside anymore. It could, could, yeah, could she still enforce that? It makes sense that it would be our way out of here. But... You never know. Maybe it's actually a switch that's going to make the school self-destruct. I mean, Junko never said specifically that she'd let us leave here alive. It's true. You may be right about that. <laughs> Maybe? Yes. But even so, it's impossible to think we wouldn't take our chances with it. Uh, um... I guess that's true. <laughs> and there's nothing to worry about. My beautiful scissors! If something ever happened to Master, I'd take my scissors and jump him, jam him so far up. Achoo! Okay, now she changed back. <laughs> Where's the cork room? Where's the mastermind? Oh. It's all over. We're just about to leave the school. <laughs> leave? We can go outside? <laughs> then that means me and master can get married. <laughs> and then he'll give me a little jewel of a baby. <laughs> My god. That's enough. Please stop. That would be a greater horror than anything I've encountered so far. Imagine that, right? When, for example, if this game had a time skip. But yeah, we have a lot. We have a more games to play, right? For example, if we had a time skip and then Byakuya actually married Toko, that would be hilarious. Anyway. Uh, don't worry. I have no doubt that we'll be able to leave here without a problem. But. If what happens after we get out, that I'm worried about. <sighs> But you know, in the end, I I think part of me still thinks For serious. Maybe when we get out there, we'll see that everything she said about the world was a lie. That on the other side of this door is a world as peaceful as we remember. A lie, peaceful as we remember. Well, no matter what it looks like, it's still a world. It's where we're meant to live. Uh, um I guess so. And how do I put this? Unlike this school, the world is really big, right? Since it's so big, I'm sure there must be some despair no matter what. But there also has to be lots of hope, right? In other words... The act of searching for hope, did Ryan find it, that it by itself is the true meaning of hope. As long as you have that hope, you can keep moving forward no matter what trouble you may fall into. Am I wrong? Is that what you mean, Makoto? Yeah, that's pretty much the gist of it. Hmm. <laughs> I don't need any of your you to spell that out for me. You know, Junko mentioned that there were still others out there who hadn't cast away hope just yet. <laughs> Maybe I should find them and make them work for me. I mean, is your money even worth anymore? If the world actually got this right, right? To rebuild the world, we must first rebuild the Togami Dynasty. <laughs> I'll go with you. I'll follow you anywhere you want to go. You got it. Well, my first stop is going to be the closest donut shop. I can figure out the rest from there. Hey. Yeah. Dude, there, there's a lot of donuts in this school. You don't need to get donuts outside. What are you going to do if there are no more donut shops or donuts? Okay. I'll get some flour and make some myself. And if there's no flour, I'll just grow some wheat. <laughs> I get it now. Hmm. If there's no road, you just got to build one. Creation, fate is selling me. To remake this world. It's kind of funny though, right? With Hagakure. He did say after... What was it? I think... Uh, the, was it the fourth class trial? Or the third one? But after the Celeste one, I think, right? He had a... He, he's seen that nobody is gonna die anymore. And... Yeah, it really happened. Nobody actually died anymore after this one. At least the remaining students, right? That was a pretty cool uh, prediction that he made there. Could it be? 
That's my hope. How about that? I reached the next stage. The next chapter of Yasuhiro Hagakure's life story is about to begin. Woo! Thanks, Hina. You totally opened my eyes. <gasps> Personal space, buddy. You're seriously creeping me out. Makoto. Okay, come on, Makoto. Even if everyone in the outside world is gone, even if the world is steeped in despair, <laughs> as long as I have people like you around, I can face forward and keep moving. If we can get out there and do something, have some sort of impact. But what can we do? There's so few of us and we're so small, so what can we do? No, we can probably do anything. Yeah, we can do anything. Well, Open it then. I guess this is goodbye. And goodbye to Sakura. But hey, if we gotta say goodbye, we may as well do it with a smile on our face. Hey guys! You guys want your fortunes told anywhere, anytime. You just let me know. I'll be there. You know how much I hate being annoyed. But if something does come up, you may as well let me know. Ooh, Byakuya. Yeah. He changed. <laughs> A little bit. Like, 5%. I can't guarantee I'll actually bother listening, but, you know. I don't know why, but I have a burning desire to start writing. I might be able to pull it off. A story about Master and me, and the others, I guess. I can't say I'm sorry about what happened, but still, it does feel kind of strange. I really don't know what to say. I guess we graduated? I guess, yeah. Okay, open the door, man. Looks like hope is really spreading. Imagine if it ex it actually exploded and killed everyone. As long as I never give up, I have to push even harder. I'm going to keep moving forward. You're the hope in my heart. Since I have hope, I can show courage. Since I have hope, I can move ahead. The world can move ahead. The door began to open. With my hands? With our hands, hope and despair mingled together, opening the door to the future. Oh, here we go. Wait, what? Dude, what the hell is this? They didn't even show what's outside? Are you serious? Can you skip that? Okay, is it Chris? It was Chris credits, right? Who <laughs> oh, is alive? Interesting. Things are getting very interesting indeed. <laughs> Like I said at the beginning, I'm not a teddy bear. Well, he's actually sentient? I am Monokuma. And I am your... I am this school's... Headmaster. He's actually alive. He doesn't need Junko anymore. Easter egg? I save that again, put that here. Oh, it actually finished now. My god. It, they didn't even show what was outside. Are you serious? I was waiting for that. Yeah, I wanted to see if that, like, for example, yeah, the place is wrecked. The place is not wrecked. Maybe just normal, right? Maybe there are other people waiting for them to get outside. Dude, what was that ending though? It was pretty good. Yeah, this final trial. Final class trial. But why didn't they show it at the ending there? And the only thing I hate about this final class trial is Junko. She doesn't explain everything basically, right? 
she's just gonna skip it out sometimes for example she was saying like oh why doesn't mukuro and you have the same last name she was gonna say it and then she then she suddenly sidelined and say uh i've kind of got bored of explaining that to people so i'm not just gonna i'm not gonna answer that and you can figure it out on your own she said something like that right and the memories as well they didn't even explain uh how the memories got wiped basically right yeah she, she explained yeah i guess maybe some of the important parts but some they didn't really fully explain i guess right that was just kind of annoying that part in the last part there and especially this one when they were going outside like what was that just open the gate open the door and cut the credits instantly why is it like that why do games do that sometimes my god I'll, I'll give this game at least for me it was very fun though yeah deducing stuff being kind of like a detective right it was pretty cool especially this last part here this la final class trial and the first part was uh, i think it was the best i guess when it came to like deducing the terms right like oh this mukuro oh this junko achara achara it was it was very nice but i actually want to see what happened outside though this tragedy right what do you call it again the biggest most awful most tragic event in history right or human history something like that i actually want to see what happened outside but it didn't show it but yeah we still have, we still have a couple of games to play we still have i think yeah danganronpa 2 and then we got a third one as well and then we have another game called uh ultra despair girls but in the game order i guess the next game we're, we're supposed to play is the ultra despair girl so we're gonna play that after this one and yeah just want to say um if you're checking this out you watch this for some reason in the future if someone is watching this and just want to say thank you very much and hopefully you enjoy this let's play of trigger happy havoc and danganronpa hopefully you check out the other games in the series as well i guess by the time uh someone watches this i've already played the other games as well right so anyways we're gonna continue this and i suppose we're gonna do the next danganronpa game in the next one so i'll just see you then guys bye bye